If you have a safe with a dial combination and you want to change it, how do you do that? Did you even know you could? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. How to change a safe combination. I'm Robert and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. In order to change the safe's combination, you need to know the existing combination to the safe. And that's because you have to do this with the door open in order to change the combination. If you bought your safe and it came with a change key, you're all set. But some safes don't, and there's a good reason for that. Many customers try this on their own and mess it up. If you do try to change your own safe combination, test it several times before you close the door. If you mess it up, it will require a locksmith to come out and reset it for you. This dial currently has a combination of 30, 40, 50. I'll just show that to you really quick. Now we do have a video on how to dial in a safe combination. If you want more details on that, check out that video. I'll put a link to it down below. And the first number in this combination is 30. That lines up right underneath the top index there. The second number is 40. So we are going to turn to the right now and pass it three times, stopping on the third time. That's number two. That's number three. And the last number is 50. We're going to now go left and stop on it the second time. That's the first time. And the second time. Now the combination is actually dialed in. Your safe still won't open because the bolt is still extracted. That prevents the lever on the door from opening the bolts. That's why on a safe combination, you gotta turn it to the right that one last time until it stops because you're actually retracting that bolt. We're doing another video on how this dial works. So if you're interested on how a combination dial works, be sure to smash the like button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when we release that video. Changing the safe combination is almost identical to what we did. Only now, instead of using this combination index, we're going to use the change index, which is right here off to the side. It is a little odd to start using this index, but let's dial in the combination using the change index. Go to the left several times to clear everything out. And let's stop on the number 30 underneath the change index. Now we're gonna go back to the number 40 and we're going to stop on it the third time. That's one. That's two. That's three. The last number is 50. We're going to stop underneath the change index the second time. That's one. That's two. And now the combination is dialed in under the change index and that's it. That's where you stop. Now on the inside door of your safe, you have a door panel. Most door panels will have a hole so that you can access the change key hole without removing the door panel. Some don't. So if you don't see a hole, in your door panel, you might have to pull that door panel off in order to do this. Now you'll notice in this change key that there is a notch in it. If you dial this incorrectly, you've actually lined up all your wheels perfectly so that this key will slide all the way in past that notch. You can see here, there's the groove. It goes all the way in. And once in, you just turn this 90 degrees. It'll only go one direction and that's to the left as you are looking at it. And now you are ready to set the combination and you're going to set it exactly the way you dialed it in under the change index. Let's set a combination of 10, 20, 30. So I'm going to go to the left a whole bunch of times and stop on the number 10 underneath the change index right there. So now I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to stop on the number 20 the third time I see it. There's the first time. There's the second time. And there's the third time. And now the third number is going to be 30. So I'm gonna stop on that the second time I see it. There's the first time right there. And then there is the second time and I now have it dialed in underneath the change index. So now you hold that dial in place and you remove the key by rotating it 90 degrees in the other direction and pull the key out. Now that combination is set. Be sure to test this many times before closing that door. Reset the dial wheels and let's dial in the safe combination. 10, 
23 times. One, two, three. Then come back until you see 30 twice. There's once. And if everything went well, I should be able to go off to the right and see that bolt retract. There it is. So that is how you change a safe combination. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe so that you can see how this dial works. We're going to break it down for you. I'm Robert. You've been watching Locksmith Recommended.